at this point, it's literally not here. I tried to put my finger through it. It's literally not going through. It's disgusting. Do not ever, ever in your life leave in braids for anything longer than a month or a month and a half. It's two and a half month situation. Oh God, oh my God, anyway. <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel i know i know it's been a very long time as you can see i have had these braids in for about three long months my hair is so like it needs some tlc it's to the point where i'm just like sis but if you didn't know already i literally just had my first baby my first baby girl she's beautiful I, I, I have no words obviously i've not had the time to do my hair whatsoever in this video i want to show you guys the real 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 when it comes to taking out protective styles and i think this is going to be a perfect example of how i make sure that i preserve my hair and make sure i don't lose too much hair when taking out protective styles especially when it's been for this long guys as you can see it's just so bad like Bruh. look at how much my hair has grown in the protective style like look at that the braid ends and that's all the, all the growth. It's in desperate need of attention. My hair is hanging, it literally is forming dreadlocks. As you can see, my hair is so, so dirty. The hair is literally coming out of the braid itself. As you can see there, yeah, look at that. I don't know if the camera's even really picking up. It's making it look nicer than it actually is, but look, see, look at that. My hair's coming out. But yeah, my hair is crusty. To maintain my hair, all I've literally been doing a few times a week, if I can remember if that, is literally putting in my hair growth potion and that has really been helping prepare my hair for this postpartum situation we have going on. But sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to quickly show you guys a really good news story with the Mineral Naturals. This is actually one of my customers who was suffering with quite bad postpartum shedding and she's had a full recovery so I wanted to just show you her before and after right here enjoy the rest of the video honest to god i really reject and i rebuke postpartum shedding from my life with the help of this and obviously prayers i get so many questions on how i grow my hair so long and honestly the best way to show you guys how i do this is just to show you what i do day to day so of course my hair is in dire need for tlc so this will be a perfect way to show you how to retain length and how to safely take down protective styles this one has obviously been in for a long while and honestly i don't even know what i'm going to be dealing with so when we get to the removal process we will see what's going to be happening i'm actually looking to basically remove each braid and detangle as i go along because as you can imagine there's going to be so much shed hair like i'm going to have so much hair coming out that you guys are going to think whoa but in actuality, if you don't know already, shed hair is different from broken hair. Naturally, our hair sheds about 100 strands a day, if that. So if you can imagine, 100 strands a day for three months is literally on my hair right now. So it's all about to come out. I'm literally, you're going to see what I'm going to do. But yeah, I just wanted to greet you guys because it's been a long time. And I know that you guys love these videos. These videos do the best and it goes to show because you guys get to see all that I'm doing and I'm going to be sharing some great tips especially for those who do protective styling. One of the things I definitely recommend when you're trying to grow out your hair is protective styling. Protective styling is probably the one of the most important things when it comes to retaining length because guess what your hands are not in your hair you're not manipulating it you're not brushing it and combing it and braiding you're just leaving it alone and it flourishes. As you can see I've retained this much length look at all that hair like come on and at the back is even worse like the hair at the back can you see that? Come on. So protective styles do work, but a lot of people go wrong with protective styles because when they take them down, they actually do a lot more damage. So I'm going to hopefully be able to show you guys exactly what I do when I remove all of this, restore life and health to my hair. Okay, so guys, let's just see how long this takes. I'm not looking forward to taking this out, quite frankly, but baby girl is looked after and I've got some time and it's... I'm in desperate need. So hopefully you guys can see how I'm starting. See my hair. And hopefully we're going to come out with some luscious locks. <laughs> cool. Where should we start? Should we start from the back? Yes, just in case I need to stop for any reason. If I start from the back, then I can go out and not look crazy. Boom, wisdom. So what I'm literally going to be using is a pair of scissors. So my hair is stupid long, which is great. But when you have a protective style, Sometimes it's very difficult to determine where your hair 
stops and then the braid starts so literally my braid my hair is almost as long as the braids so i need to be super careful when it comes to trying not to cut my actual hair so we're gonna just make sure we're doing that it's very difficult like i feel like i can see a strand that comes up to here right so i'm probably gonna try and cut like this much not that it's gonna do much but it's gonna help me because then i don't have to undo all of that i can just start here and go ahead it's 12:55. Let's see how long this takes. I'm going to time myself, actually. And, I mean, there isn't really any special way that I'm going to be taking these out. I'm just going to make sure. I'm going to see if I can detangle my hair. If my hair is not really knotted at this point. So, at this point here, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, it may or may not be very knotted. Because that's literally where the braid started. And there could be product build up. Not that I even applied any product. But it can just be a lot of shed hair in that space right there. So, I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to detangle that safely. Let's start. I feel like my hair is almost dreading up. Bruh. Now we've got into that part of the hair which is most likely going to be the point of breakage if you're not very careful. I'm just going to take that off. Oh, the freedom. See, hopefully I didn't cut my hair. I don't think I did, but yeah, that's my hair now completely free and i can see a single strand of knots so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out and before you ask no i do not advise keeping braids in for a stupid amount of time i had a baby i had other things to deal with i didn't have time quite frankly but yeah as you can see i want to be so in depth with you guys so you guys can really see what i'm doing and then you can go ahead and create your own kind of routines when you're taking out protective styles but i want to be very thorough so as you can see get my ear out of the way <laughs> can you see that there that's literally where the braid actually started and so at this point it's literally knotted and it can be quite difficult to undo so as you can see if i try to put my finger through it it's literally not going through so what you can do is try to gently and i mean gently separate it because it's literally just a case of shed hair that is literally matted together and i'm just going to gently use my hands to detangle it if you want you can put some oil in your hair in your hands so what i'm going to be doing is putting in some of my hair strengthening oil from a mineral all the products i'm using will be below just to give my hands a bit more lubrication so then when i'm taking out I'm not going to be damaging i'm just literally going to separate the hair Ooh. if there is any point or any bit that i feel like cannot be let me wear my glasses gently separating the hair separating it and yes this is going to take some time but it's also going to ensure that you're not getting severe breakage from taking down your protective styles separate it get rid of the build-up see look that is just some nasty nasty hopefully you guys can see that build up of just nastiness i'm doing it now because i don't have to deal with this all at once if i do it one by one it's going to be a lot less overwhelming should hopefully make the detangling process in the shower a lot easier and yes some hair is coming out but fine as long as it's not excessive and what i'm going to try and do is if i literally cannot remove it if there's any small piece of hair that is being really stubborn that it's literally knotted to the point of no repair i'm just gonna cut out that little bit there yeah all done i do not advise keeping braids in for this long this is just so disgusting that whole thing came out Bruh. that is so disgusting but I'm going to be seriously honest with you guys because a lot of this stuff people don't show on YouTube. Handed with you all. And I'm sitting on my bounce, like my exercise ball. That's why I'm kind of like bouncing around in case you're wondering. I wanted to really show you in depth what I'm doing for that first section. Just so you guys have a gist of what I'm going to be doing all over my head. So I'll probably show you some clips of how I'm getting taking it out. But obviously it's going to take quite long. And, you, and I'm literally going to be doing this all over my head. So you're trying to get rid of all that shed hair, cutting out pieces that are just too stubborn, cutting out any knots. See, look, there's a knot right here. Basically using my hands. I'm not going to be using comb. No, not at this stage anyway. Getting rid of all that shed hair so that there's less shed hair in the shower. That section is, I think, free of any major knots. And it's done. Boom. So I'm going to repeat this all over my head. And I'll be back.
halfway through and then that's taken me about an hour and a half though I have some done some things in between take a picture of the thumbnail and just like you know browse through Netflix but yeah this is my hair and I'm so happy it's been so long that I've actually had my hair like out like I'm super excited and in that session alone this is how much shed hair came out it's not too bad but we'll see what comes out in the shower that's the real test <laughs> took four freaking ever let's see how long that took i know it that took like three hours my jesus this is how much hair i lost my hair is disgust like it's disc i'm ashamed but we move i want to throw this away because i just cannot this this whole situation is disgusting do not ever ever in your life leave in braids for anything longer than a month or a month and a half this two and a half month situation nasty but anyway i'm gonna go jump in the shower yeah i can't take myself seriously looking like this but i'm thinking of doing mini twists by the grace of god i'm praying right now i will be able to do mini twists <sighs> obviously now i have a child i don't really have the time to be in the shower for like five hours and then you know coming out and blowing it and like i need simple hairstyles that will last me that will enable enable me to retain legs etc etc so I asked you guys on Instagram what I should do next for just like a for just a low manipulation, easy to do style, and me twists were by far the most nominated. So by God's grace, I'm gonna try my I'm going to really try to do this. But um yeah, I'm gonna pop in the shower, wash this hair and deep condition it overnight, and then tomorrow morning slash afternoon, I'm gonna try and do some mini twists. I really wanna make it if I can do it in an hour and a half, then beautiful. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But you guys know the drill. I'm gonna be making my little concoction of a deep conditioner, and you, you guys will see it. But yeah, this is my hair. <sighs> guys, I'm just flabbergasted that I was literally sitting like this for so long. Like this is disgusting. Nasty, nasty. Oh god, oh my god, anyway. So let's just go and wash this off and move on with our lives and act like this never ever ever happened, okay guys? Into the shower we go. <laughs> As you can see my hair is a mess and we're gonna fix it i'm gonna i'm just so embarrassed to even come on camera like this to be honest with you but we're gonna go in the shower i'm gonna shampoo with the usuals the dove and then i'm gonna detangle with tresemme and then i'm gonna deep condition with the mix you just saw me make so that's gonna be me i'm gonna be working in sections of a, probably about four and yeah you'll see what i'm gonna do but let's hop right in <laughs> Hey guys, so sorry if you do hear some background noise, but girl is right next to me. So I've just jumped into the shower and I'm going to section my hair into four and I'm going to be shampooing those sections very thoroughly. I think I did it about two times because as you can imagine, there's a lot of build up um, and I really focus on my scalp because that's all you really need to focus on. And yeah, I'm really, 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 really making sure that my scalp is fully cleansed because if you don't do that, you can have build up which prevents your hair from being moisturised. And I'm then gonna go in and detangle with my Dove um, using my hands alone. And then I eventually I do go in with the comb because I really wanna make sure my hair is detangled because I've just come out of, protect, of a protective style. I don't want any build up or anything like that. So yeah, you'll see me finger detangling and then using a comb and then sectioning that off. And yeah. Hi guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you how much hair I lost in the shower. To be honest, I'm quite surprised I didn't lose more given how long my hair has been, but hey. We move so yeah nah. i cannot lie to you i feel like a new woman my goodness but anyway now i'm deep conditioning it i'm gonna do it overnight and i'm gonna be using this over my head i think and i'm gonna try to use some clean fill just to prevent you know all that drippage i don't really want to be messing with that oh my gosh i need to be done gonna be using some cling film i'm not sure i've never done this before don't you hate it when cling film just gets stuck like <laughs> let's try it i hope that this stays overnight this is me and i will see you guys tomorrow where i will hopefully be doing mini twists because i know that's a great way to you know have a protective style with low manipulation etc etc and just yeah with my new lifestyle i'm gonna be trying 
like new quick and easy hairstyles because with this big life change I just don't have the time I look so weird I'm probably gonna put a headscarf on there we go so I look a bit more human this is me until tomorrow hello guys so it's a brand new day today sorry for the boobage like mom life sorry the sun keeps on changing as well so I'm just trying to work with what's happening right now and I've got like a few mirrors to kind of help me to this whole hair situation but yeah so I've washed detangled and deep conditioned my hair sorry if you hear the shower going and so now I'm gonna proceed in attempting to do mini twists I washed out the deep conditioner a little bit like a few hours ago and I had to do some other things so my hair's been in this let me just show you guys how my hair is looking in these full twists since then and they're pretty damp to be honest they haven't dried but they're like not 100% wet wet so the products I'm going to be using to achieve this look is just some regular water I'm also going to be using this natural uh, but this can you show you better coconut curling cream this mineral naturals hair strengthening oil and then for my scalp I'm going to be using the best-selling hair growth mm -hmm. potion and I've got some other tools to separate my hair into sections to actually create the sections to detangle and to cut out any single shining knots so actually I'm also going to be using this Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel as well not too much but just to give me like a nice little do you know what I mean so yeah I'm literally going to section my hair and I'm going to start with the back first and I'm going to be like rope twisting so like twisting on twisting making sure they're really tight I've watched quite a few videos on this so I'm going to just basically combine all the techniques I've learned through watching these videos and we'll see how this goes. Work on the back first, so I want to section these two bits away and my hair is getting crazy long. I am anticipating shrinkage but that's life. This should hopefully give me a break but also allow my hair to be super moisturised. This is how my hair is looking, super moisturised, super revived, <laughs> back to life yeah, anyway. and we're going to literally just be twisting. I've already detangled in the shower, but I'm also, but I'm going to be detangling as we go through. And already my hair is shrinking up, so let's go ahead and section this. You know what, I'm going to be using my hands to section because I just cannot. done that took a long time probably two and a half hours but I reckon if I wasn't filming it probably wouldn't have taken so long I don't know how I feel about it yet my hair shrinks up probably about 75% like you guys already saw like but anyway I'm gonna still look to wait for them to dry and then I'm gonna stretch them uh, I'm just gonna finish off using my Amunara Naturals hair growth potion all in my scalp and I like this because my scalp and now has easy access so I can literally just put that in without any issues boom and like massage it in Ooh. I'm gonna be just use a bit more eco styler gel just to make sure that my the front section is really laid because I do get quite a lot of flyaways I'm gonna wrap my hair with a scar and I'll show you guys how this is looking how I maintain it I think really and truly I'm probably gonna have it in for about two to three weeks and I'll just be applying my hair growth potion a few times a week during that period and I'll show you guys what I'm doing but I mean so far so good I'm probably gonna try and accessorize them and try to like rock it in different styles you know like have your two front twists like, I think you can do cute styles with this I don't know if I'll ever do this again because it took so long and quite frankly I don't have the time for that but they do look kind of cute I ain't gonna lie. They do look kind of cute. It's just the time, the time situation. And I'm sure I can style them very well. Like, you know, half up, half down. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Like, this is cute. Oh, crap. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Hi, guys. So this is actually the next day. And this is how I quickly just styled my hair to just go out to the shop quickly because I needed to get some more hair bands because today I'm going to stretch them. This is how they came out. Super shrunken. My hair is very long, so as you can imagine, this is very shrunken. And my hair is still a little bit damp, 
So all I'm literally gonna do is stretch them. I'm not gonna stretch that because I really don't mind that being kind of short. But all I'm gonna do is grab a, a few hair bands and just wrap them around like this. <laughs> So I'm going to do that all over my head and I'm going to come back. And this is how they're looking. All I'm literally going to be doing is putting it in a pony with this loose headband. Hairband. Putting it in my headscarf. I'll be back tomorrow just to show you guys how my hair is a lot more stretched. And I'm also going to style it with these gold metal cuffs. And yeah, we'll see. But overall, I think I'm kind of liking it. I'm not liking the fact that it took so long. However, I feel like because my hair was kind of dry and I was literally spritzing my hair with water in each, in each section, it made the process a whole lot longer. So I think next time I'm going to start off with wet hair and just see how that goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow on how my hair looks. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just going to be taking out my hair and just showing you guys how it is looking. I'm just going to take these out and I'm going to be using this hair strengthening oil just to make sure that my hands are nice and lubricated as I take these out and I'll be right back. So this is how they look. <laughs> I look like I have spaghetti in my head but I'm going to quickly just style them and I'll be back. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is how they turned out. I've styled them, I've put in these little gold beads and yeah, I think this is how I'm pretty much probably gonna be rocking them. Yes, shrinkage is still crazy, but what can I do? Um, for the most part, I think they're okay. A little bit gappy. Bruh. I think I can rock this, you know? I quite like the look. It's very like natural, you know? Like, like someone who knows all about Africa. I feel like that's why I'm personifying <laughs> with this look. I don't know if that sounds weird, but chicken like I look like someone who has been studying African studies or something crazy, like... Or just someone who's really deep, yeah. I look like someone who's really deep. <laughs> yeah, I've never done this before, so I think it will slightly grow on me. Let me know what you guys think. Did I do a good job? Should I do it again? Should we start, try another protective style? Should we just move on? Let me know. If you guys want to know what this looks like in the end, then just watch the next vlog but thank you so much for watching guys i really hope that you've learned something on how to maintain good healthy hair how to take out protective styles very well maintain length and basically grow your hair to the best of your ability thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one bye